Hello, hi, and welcome to another TIA video. Today we are going to talk about face plates on Simatic HMIs. Um, you need a comfort panel for this. So yeah, that has information <laughs> right in the front. Um, what are face plates? Like if I go to my software here, I can climb the ladder and there we have two valves. You see a valve here on the left, inlet valve one. I can manually control it, inlet valve two. Here I can manually control this on the right side. I can set some parameters and I can also see, for example, the current flow rate on there. Um, those two are the same thing, right? But for two different valves. Those are so-called face plates on an HMI. Um, so information for one component um, that you have like maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 times in your plant and you don't always want to create a new thing. You take a faceplate, put it on the HMI, just put the parameters in there. Like one parameter here is just the name inlet valve two or inlet valve one. They could have different names, right? Um, another parameter is uh, which mode is active right now. They are completely uh, independent from each other, but they have the same layout here. That's a faceplate. So how do I do this in TR portal? The first thing I have created an empty HMI here, empty comfort panel. Um, on this panel, I just create how the faceplate should look like. The best is always to take just some basic shape. I'll just put it somewhere on the screen. This is how big I want my faceplate. And let's take the let's take the valve as example. Doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter what we take. I'm just taking something valve, for example, um, on here on the valve. I, I now on this faceplate area, I put all the buttons, all the components that I want. For example, I want a, a bar, a display bar. Right. How much is this thing open? I'll just put that bar here. I'll change it to um, do, do, do. Uh, appearance, where is it? Uh, I always forget where the layout is. Yeah, here, left, right, down, and no, not top, but all right, all right, like this. So this is going to be my indicator. How strong is the valve open, right? Then we have maybe two buttons. We have one button open and we have one button closed. There could be way more things, right? But those are just my examples because I don't want the video to be 20 hours. <laughs> Open and close. Right? That's all I want on my faceplate. Now, what we need to do is I need to link things, right? I need to link things. That's what we're going to do in the faceplate. Um, but also uh, something I haven't tested, actually. Let's put a text up there. I hope this is going to work. If the text doesn't work, then I'm sorry already. Um, headline, right? Headline, uh, put it here. <clears throat> That's the name of the component. So if you have a second one of these, what you would usually do, you go there, you right click, copy, you go somewhere else, you paste, hey, and you have a second one of these. If you want a third one, you go there, control C, control V, you have a third one of these and so on and so on. Of course, that is not a good way of doing it. <laughs> the right way would be using a so-called faceplate. To do this, you just select everything that you want in this faceplate, everything that belongs together to that one component and right click on the on anything there on your selection. And then you already see create faceplate, right? If you hit create faceplate, boop, that's what I'm going to do now. Um, it will ask you, how do you want to name this? I want to call this valve or example, whatever. It wants a version. You can do the version on your own. That is uh, a name and a comment and stuff, right? I hit OK and it's going to create that faceplate. It will also open this view, this visualization view, this uh, this library view. That's pretty strange, right? On the left side, I can now choose between visualization, which is my standard view. So let's go back there, right? And I can go back to the library view by libraries and library view. See it? Libraries and then top there's library view, which will bring me back to that library view. The first thing, if I go back to my visualization, what I can see, if I click on this now, on this element, I see all of those are connected. And it also says here it is a faceplate instance. It is valve one. 
Right? It is a false faceplate instance. And if I go to interface um, and events, it's empty. Right? There's nothing. I don't. I have not set any properties to it. <clears throat> of course, that's what we want to do. So we want to change this one. You can also um, right click on it if you want to change it and edit faceplate. I cannot click it right now because if we look into the library here on the libraries, there is the project library and there's now um, types. I already have one faceplate in there. Um, there is now Valve. Right? That's the one I created. And you see there is version 001. That's what we started with. And there is version 002, which is in work right now. If you don't know how this library view here works, I've made a video on of, about it. Check out my channel. Should be there. Um, what we could already do check this out. I could already take my valve and just put it on the screen here. And you see it's basically a copy, but a copy that we can parameterize if we would have configured that already, which we didn't. Um, and we can also see this one is in work. If you right click and open it, we're getting back to this view. In this view, we can make adjustments. Like if, for example, I think, hey, this close button should be here. That's just an example, right? This close button should be here. Then I have to release this version, right? I may change, I release this version on top here. It is now um, version 002. I hit OK, and I can go back to my uh, visualization. This one hasn't changed. That's strange. But if I take my valve now, you see, every new copy is the new type. Right. Why has this one not changed? If you pay close attention to it, right here, this one says version 002, 002, 001. That one still has the old version of it. You could do two things now. You can right click, you can delete it, you can put a new one in there, which is not recommended, of course. Uh, we're working with libraries. The recommended way is right clicking in your library. There is update types in your project. And it will ask you, which ones do you want to update? The ones on the HMI. Do you want to delete the old versions? Which I recommend, don't delete the old versions because, well, you have them for a reason. Maybe there was a mistake or something. You hit OK, well, and it's immediately applied and you see version 002. Now they all have version 002, which is, of course, not correct. That was just like this close button should not be there. So I'll delete these two. I'll go back here, right click, and now you see I can edit the faceplate because there is no version being worked on right now. So if I edit the faceplate, it will automatically open, you saw it, version 003, which is the newest version. I can fix things, I can add things, I can release the version as 003. I could now also check this checkbox here, update instances in the project. If I hit this checkbox, then our faceplate will be automatically updated, so you don't have to do it manually. If I hit OK, if I go back to start, you see this is now in the right place because I updated it automatically. You see there's a lot to faceplates. I might make two videos out of this. Um, I don't know yet, but it's already eight minutes and I have just barely explained what it is about. <clears throat> Let me save the project. Now, what can we do with this? What can we do with this? Um, I do not have an a a PRC in my project. You would need to... Of course, if you want to control something, you need a PLC. I am just using HMI tags for this sense right now. So what I would have, let's go to my HMI tags. I would have, um, I cr I'm just creating some internal tags, which are only on the HMI. They don't do anything, they're just there. I would, for example, have an opening level, which is an integer, right? Which is an integer uh, for valve one. Valve one has an opening level. Valve 2 also has an opening level, right? And there is a running or Valve 01 running or active, whatever you want to call it. That is of type Boolean. And that, of course, exists for Valve 02 as well. So these are just internal. They would be on the PLC, but this is just about how you do it and not exactly how the standards are. So, so these I somehow need to link to this one. So that should be valve one and I want a valve two as well. I need to link them. And you see down here, there's something called interface. 
and that is empty right now. In this interface, I have to set, hey, which are the external parameters? Where does this faceplate actually lead? Which would be right now, if this is valve one, I would need to put valve one opening and valve one running in here, which I can't because I don't have this interface. So we have to decide about that interface. Right. We have to just say, hey, this is the interface. This is how it works. So um, we go in here, edit the faceplate, having a new version, version 004. And in this faceplate, now we have to set, you see it here in the properties. We have on the right side, those interface values. Right? There's the properties. I need to make new properties on here. Those will go outside and we can set at the interface. So that's what I'm going to do. I will just create two. Right. Or let's just create one. Here we go. And you see, if I click on this button, it will automatically create a so-called property. And I can, I can change the name. I just click, I, I can't click up. <laughs> um, that is opening level, for example. And this one here right now is an integer. So if I save the project, if I release this version, I want to update all the instances in my project. Okay, that's fine, perfect. So this one is right now updated and you see it has an interface is something called opening level, right? Opening level and that one is valve one, right? If I take the new valve, boop, that one is valve two. So for valve one, this opening level should go, you can select here, right now it goes nowhere, none, right? You can select HMI tag and now it will be linked to an HMI tag of the same data type, right? It is integer, so I have opening level for valve one, I choose this. This could also come from the PSC, right? For the second one, I also take HMI tag, opening level for the second one, there we go. Now these are linked, right? Now. The first one works with this parameter, with this HMI tag. The second one works with this one. So the second one is responsible for valve two, the first one, valve one, right? That's how it is. Um, also, we would need the next, right? The next would be this running variable. So let's create that. What do I do? Right click, edit faceplate. Of course, I could have done that all at once. Just for explanation, I did it here very quick. Uh, like not very quick, but um, many times. So I go to my properties. I just go here at a property. This I want to call, uh, why doesn't this work? Somehow the clicking in here doesn't work. How do I call it open? I think I call it open. Did I? Yeah. Open and close. Good. I call it open. And now this is not of integer. Be careful, sometimes you have to drag and drop that a little bit more open. If it's just opened a little bit, you cannot really click in here. Oh, you can. Okay, they, they changed that. So other um, data type, this should be, of course, Boolean because it's just on or off. Got this. I'm saving now. I'm not going back and releasing the version because we still have to make some more. I'll release the version. Doesn't matter. Yeah, version 05. And there we go. And I can now link the other two. All right. This one here open should be linked to an HMI tag, should be linked to uh, HM Valve 1 running, and this one should be linked to Valve 2 running. Right. <clears throat> so you see there's a lot, there's, there's a lot going on here. Um, next, <laughs> I had a faceplate, usually you do it all at once. <clears throat> I also want to link this somehow, right? I want to link the button press for this faceplate to the actual bit um, but I would say I'll make a second video on going into the details you see in the center here this looks a little bit more complicated it's already 50, 14 minutes I talked way too much I'm sorry for this but that's the basics right the next thing is we need to put those parameters somehow here in that view I will make a second video about this because it's been taking way too long I'm sorry for uh, talking too much um, but I think that is some important stuff that needs to be explained a little bit more in detail and shown a bit more in detail. So I'll continue this in the next video. Sorry for the delay there. Um, yeah, if you need more content on PLCs, just check out my channel, um, check out our forum that we have built. There we go, that's the forum, uh, link in the description below. Um, 
Yeah, so much going on here. Nice, awesome. Love you guys. <laughs> um, and the last thing, if you want to support me, there is, uh, if no, if you want to support me, hit like, hit subscribe, share this channel with all your friends, <laughs> tell all your friends about it. And in the link in the description below, there's also a GoFundMe that where you can toss some coin in my direction, linked in the description below. Thanks for all your support. Um, next video, we're going to continue exactly here and have a nice day, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye-bye. Thanks for the like. <laughs>